Hey, thanks for house sitting. I have to leave on such short notice. No problem, Megan. Where are you going again? To a conference on neuroplasticity in Scotland. Cool. What are you going to talk about? A lot of things, actually. For example the 2011 paper by Huen again colleagues, which once again confirms experience-dependent plasticity, or neuronal changes, in professional musicians but not in live persons, when it comes to auditory stimuli. So, to put it simply, neurons change when we learn, and it all has to do with dopamine? I guess that's one way of looking at it, and this neurotransmitter has indeed been associated with brain plasticity. For instance, in 2011, Monty Silver and co-authors revealed that in certain cases, dopamine blockade prevents neuroplasticity in the motor cortex. I knew it. Well, did you also know that estrogen, as well as suppression and response enhancement, likewise play a role? Really? Yeah, the hormone was studied in quail by Sadinsky's group, whilst Bing Geth and others focused on macaques and simple tactile tasks. Both studies' results were published in 2011. Amazing. I hope you have fun at the seminar.